Hello my lovely Trails fans, welcome to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Okay, so it is time for us to head on out. Looks like it's very misty around here. Okay, there's an entrance over there. I suppose it's not mist, it's going to be steam, isn't it? So we can move the map now. Hot Springs Fountainhead. Wowza, it's really boiling in here. If you fell in there, the burns could kill you. It's scary. While the boiling water can cook us like lobsters, the steam is an even greater concern. Water need not be liquid to be deadly. We must be careful. Yeah, good point. Looks like there's a pattern to when they blow. We'll have to time our movements carefully. Okay, follow me. So what, we have to time going past these now? Oh, I suppose it's probably talking about those guys as the... These absorb crap points? Well, that doesn't seem fair at all. These things just about absorb everything, don't they? Some level up, so not too bad. Okay. So a map like that. So we've got way to go up here. Look, there's a big monster over here. Prevent that from happening. Okay, what's your weakness? Is going to be water or air? Giant ant hill turn monster nest fires powerful formic acid and petrifies foes. That does not sound fun at all. So weak against air, but let's just go ahead and start beating on it. You've got Aqua Bleed, right? Terror Bomb. We're sorry, this, the item fairies haven't restocked the chest yet. Please come visit again soon. Those danged item fairies. I did see another way we can go down there. Two fairies we can go down. Okay, it just circles back around. Uh, I'm just going to do some quick changing around of ordnance to give Olivia some more healing arts.
Alrighty, and I am back. So I've gone ahead and uh, switched my attack 3 for shield 1 and my hit. Um, what was I? Hit 3 for HP 1. That's given him some more healing abilities now, which I think is going to help us a lot in this area. Let's go ahead and continue exploring down here. Okay, we've got another one of those anthill things. These things pack quite a punch. Um, don't know if we have to actually defeat them or if they're just there. There was an item here. It's gone now. So I'm going to kind of just avoid having to fight them for the time being. And I can always just backtrack if for the reason I do actually have to fight them. Another big guys are here. There's a lot of enemies to actually fight without a preemptive strike. Good here. We do kind of still need the experience from all of these. when we get lucky and we, uh, I don't know if it's disabled or blinded, I can't actually recall what the effect is called, but it makes battles a whole lot easier, because they're basically dead until we decide to finish them off. chest here. Smelling salts. You see a heart carved around Adol and Dogi. Where did this chest come from? Um, let's check over here first before we go further down. Whoa. These geysers are dangerous. Chest here. Looks like that might be a boss chest. Never know with these. Gemini boots. Who hides the valuables in chests out in the open? This is supposed to be a modern nation, you know? Okay, so that should be some boots. Yep, the tighter. Perfect. There's another hallway down here. Wow, oh, these tortoise things can really take a beating. I really wish those things would stop draining the EP, what was EP? Epic points? I can't remember what that stands for. I suppose um, you don't really use odds all that much, but still, they're handy to have. Rainbow Surprise. Found a scrap of paper with a Rainbow Surprise recipe written on it. Learn the recipe. 
You gaze into the empty black void of the chest and, for a fleeting moment, feel very small. Wow, these chests are deep. They're not deep enough to hold more than one item. Okay, now we can go down south. Never trust these chests anymore. Blue cashmere. Okay, so who's the one that wears cashmere? It is the women. Perfect. Okay, I guess unless we can try and avoid that ant hill, I think we're gonna have to fight it. Oh, there we go. That worked out nicely. Disabled it. Oh well. Just a matter of time, and there we go. Oh, smoke cannon too. New ability for Titer. Sephiroth. 20 of each, too. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong, and I just can't live without you. Hey, the water isn't boiling here. Haha, <laughs> it looks like it's just the right temperature for a bath. Splendid! There is only one option for us, my friends. Let us doff our burdens and bear our souls to one another. Yeah, you can ride ahead with bearing your soul, Olivia. We'll watch. In horror. Ignoring him, though, it really is a great bit of hot water. Won't hurt to dip our feet in, right? Tch, fine. Go ahead. Just don't take too long. Hey, this heals us all. Doesn't heal back the EP, but it does give health. So that's super handy. Sheen Planker. To open the chest, ponder putting the item you took from it back and close it again with a soft smile. Berry chest, I haven't seen one of those before. So, what really stops you from wearing more than two accessories? Social decorum? Hey, they make a point. 
Did that um, maximize my... I don't know. I don't know if that maximized my uh, craft points or not. Very good, that is an improvement. Looking strange around here. What the heck is? It's spread all over the ground. Glowing veins of N no way. It can't be. <laughs> you sure know how to keep a guy waiting. Hey. A man with sunglasses. And on the pole. Ah heck. Another gospel. Evening, ladies. Good of you to come all the way out here. I'll do what I can to make you feel nice and welcome. You, you're one of Ouroboros' thugs, aren't you? <laughs> Enforcer number eight. Walter the Direwolf. That's what they call me at any rate. I knew it. Let me guess, you're the one behind all these earthquakes, right? Come on, let's knock it off with the obvious and just get down to it. This pole is a little trick the society brains came up with to mess with septum veins. It normally just screws with the veins directly beneath it. You plug a gospel into this thing though and you can cause a local earthquake or two. That's what I was asked to test. Your experiments are over then? Yeah, real shame too. What I wanted to do was work up enough power to shatter buildings. Couldn't quite get it to hit with that much force though. Wait, but, 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 if the buildings collapse, all the people inside would get hurt. <laughs> you catch on quick, little girly. Some of them would get crushed under the rubble, their arms and legs mashed into jelly, left screaming like pigs. Others, they'd get quick deaths, heads shattered like eggs, spilling their brains out on the road for everyone to see. Hey, I get an idea, how about we do that to you instead? That blonde head of yours looks pretty fragile to me. Ah! No, get away! You unbelievable son of a... Aw, oh, now, what's with those faces? I've been doing you all a favour. You see, I just think the dreary, soggy porridge of most people's lives needs a little spice. Thrills and suspense, you know? The kind that leaves you in a cold sweat. Push to the point where you could die at any second. Come on, don't tell me I don't have your heart pounding. Tch, what are you, some kind of psycho? I get it now, though. You were luring us in here, weren't you? What? You allowed yourself to be seen all over the region. Elmo's hot springs boiled over immediately after the earthquake at the fortress. It was all a way of broadcasting your location to us then. Oh, crud. Heh. <laughs> well, close enough for bracer work, I guess. Enough talk. Let's see what you're made of. That's a lot of worms. Ah, the heck are those? There's some worms that live in this area. Apparently, when you stimulate the septian veins, they grow as huge as these guys are. Well, have fun, ladies. Oh, what the heck is this? You rotten coward. Fight us fair and square. Forget him. We need to take care of these things first. Courage, my friends. Oh, I'm throwing a couple of those little fly things for good measure, because this wasn't going to be difficult enough. Oh boy, okay, what kind of weaknesses do they have? Uh, weakness to air, and I'm only about 4,000 health. Well anyway, first of all, we need to get rid of these things. Hopefully, no extra ones will be summoned. those taken care of. Now, see what we can start working on with regards to my arts. Okay, I guess we just start trying to take them down one at a time. Okay, 
he's got Earth Guard. It's just for him though, right? Serious healing, so you go ahead and give that We're to Titan. Hopefully, we're close enough here to heal everybody. Looks like we are. Hit enemies with a powerful smoke screen. Blind. Not close enough to hit them yet. They're still coming in closer, so let's just go ahead and hit that with the normal ability. Everybody again. Have you actually used that heal? He's gonna leave that healing field. I go after that one. Let's go after that one instead. They would have been close enough. Let me show you the true Again, outside of the healing field. Okay. for comfort on these heels here. I don't suppose I've got any uh, wide healing abilities, it doesn't look like so. One more to go. Yeah. 
back. Good feel for everybody again. Yeah, I think it was a it was a good move to go ahead and uh, switch Olivia over to healing for this. Ooh, and there we go. All oh, that delicious XP. Everyone got to level up. The gate learned chain too. Finally. Everyone else has had that for a while. Okay, we managed to win, and I think I still have most of my limbs. Pew. Pew. Such vulgar foes. Hmm, I might have expected a bit much. I thought that fight would be a little less pathetic. Pseh. Don't underestimate us, pal. We've killed monsters like that plenty of times. Tch. Screw it. This is just sad. I didn't think you'd be this weak. The heck? I'm disappointed in you, worms. This is BS. Lo was talking out his ass again. He tells me the Divine Blade isn't the only one in Labell who might give me a run for my money, and this is what I get? Gotta be kidding me. Well, nothing for it then. I'll just have to sweet talk the Professor into letting me hunt old Fang Boy. He'll be a little more exciting than this, at least. What? H hold on! What? You can still talk? You disgusting sicko! Listen to me! If you mean Joshua when you say fangboy, I will never let you hurt him! Estelle! I'd give you props on taking my punch and still being able to stand. But give it up. I can see your knees buckling. You really think I care about that? I'll find Joshua. I'll bring him home. And I won't let scum like you get in my way. Estelle! You get why they call me the Die Wolf, right? I don't hold back for women or kids. Or both. You're a martial artist, sort of. I hope you know what you're asking for by pointing that thing at me. Of course I do. You think you can beat me? Come on. <laughs> nice. Tell you what, I respect your guts. You'll die in one blow. I'll make it quick. No! Estelle! Estelle, run, damn it! Die. Yeah? What? Yeah! Thank adios, we made it in time. Chloe? And Zin? Hey Estelle, feels like it's been ages. I meant to come sooner, but work back home took longer than I expected. I'm glad to see I made it in time. Jeez, did you have to wait till the last second, man? <laughs> so you're the A rank bracer Low mentioned. Perfect. Been a while, Zin. That's right, Walter. I hardly expected to meet you here of all places, though. I always knew you had the mind of a wolf, but tell me, when did you develop the heart and loyalty of a serpent? Oh, that'd be right after we met last. I've been having the time of my life since I joined the society too. You blind fool. Do you even realise what you've done? What you're doing? It would break Master's heart to see. Oh, spur me the righteous claptrap. You know better than anyone the path I've chosen. You keep talking nonsense and I will kill you. Got it? I wonder. Do you even know? Killick is up there. In his eyes. What? She's been working there as the guild receptionist for the past two years. Before then, she was wandering the continent. The heck? Why bother coming to a backwater place like LaBelle? What's she thinking? I don't know either, to be honest. But I do know that even now, she wants to see you. Set aside this Ouroboros madness, Walter. Go see- Ugh. I told you. Talk nonsense, I kill you. <laughs> well, hey, forget Killica. You being here just made my year. 
this plan of the professors is going to be a whole lot of fun. Wait, Walter! You ladies keep working on your kung fu until next time. See ya. Walter! Um, thanks for saving us, Zin. Why are you here, though? I stopped by the Zeiss branch and Killika began fussing at me a little. She told me to hurry on over to Elmo to join forces with you. Killika was worried, so I felt I had to come too. So we have Killika to thank. Well, thank you too. You really saved us there. All that aside, you actually know that Psycho's in? How's that shake out? He's... he's an old acquaintance. I'll explain in detail once we return to the guild. With Walter's device gone, the dragon veins are calming so the hot springs should cool down. Estelle's group took the chance to relax in the springs once they returned to the surface before going back to Zeiss. They see. So the man in sunglasses was Walter, as I thought. Yeah, wait, what? As you... you suspected from the beginning? When I heard his physical description and clothing, I thought it might be possible. More to the point, you were careless. How could you allow him to escape with a gospel? Oh, come on. I didn't think it was that important. Did you forget that you're the one who shoved me off toward Elmo without so much as half an explanation? That was a mistake on my part, yes. I thought, however, that you wouldn't need me to spell out every single detail for you, Zin. Ugh, you're far less cute when you do that, you know. Regardless, Estelle Bright, your investigation into the earthquakes is complete. Allow me to give you your compensation for this mission. 95 total BP. Thanks, Killika. But, uh, it sounds like you two know that nut in the glasses. What's up with him? We do. How do I even begin? Quite simply, Zin, Walter and I, we were fellow students. Walter was the elder student. Elder student? You mean your elder in martial arts? Well, to be precise, Kilika wasn't a student, or just a student anyway. She was Master Ryuga's. My part does not matter. Walter is a student of the Taito style, and six years ago he left the dojo, and it seems he was recruited by Ouroboros soon after. That should explain everything. Killika. Nah, don't worry. I think that is all we need to hear. So he uses the same Taito style you guys use, huh? That explains why he hits like a frickin' airship at any rate. He's even stronger now than he was in the dojo. It's safe to say he's a true master of the style now, I think. What is probably safe to say is that he's incredibly dangerous. Seems likely we won't be dealing with any more earthquakes, however. It is probably safe to relax our guard. A bit. Seems like it. I'll let the citizens and workers know. They used yet another gospel, though. They were using it in conjunction with some kind of machine which could stimulate septum veins. Well, when we consider what was done with the hologram projector beneath the Genus Royal Academy, it seems safe to me to assume the gospel massively increases the capabilities of other horrible devices. Yes, I believe you are correct. Holographic projection and excitement of septin veins are both possible, in theory. What they do with these gospels, however, is completely beyond our understanding of orbital technology. And I don't mean just my understanding can't imagine anyone I know at any famous factory managing any better. It's true. I doubt either the Verne Company in Calvert or the Rhineford Company in the Empire could do such things. Even the Epstein Foundation for all its progress in tactical augments couldn't manage such feats. In other words, the society's got crazy super technology nobody else does. Indeed, they must have someone of tremendous genius and skill working for them. <laughs> well, I'll just have to show them what for. Grandpa? I suppose we have no choice now. We finished the Arcelli's new orbital engine too, so we have free capacity. We'll devote the central factory's full resources to analysing the gospel sample we have. Ha! Of course we will! 
if you can figure out what the Gospels are, it'll be a big help. I mean, who knows what else they're going to use them for after this. Both those clowns kept babbling on about experiments too. We aren't going to stop at two. There'll be a third time. If Professor Russell will be taking care of the analysis of the Gospel, I believe it would be best if your group moved on, Estelle. Yeah, I agree. We didn't catch the bad guy, but there won't be any more earthquakes at least. Any suggestion on where to go next, Kilika? The central branch of the guild in Gransel sent us a request for aid. They claim to have received an official mission directly from the leadership of the Royal Army. The Royal Army? You mean from Dad? They did not share any details. They did, however, request all of you by name. There is a good chance this involves Ouroboros. Probably, yeah. Huh. Well, if they're inviting us, we can't say no, can we? Then it's decided. Once we finish our last bits of business in Zeiss, let us board the next flight to the capital. Sounds like a pu Wait, we? Zin, are you coming with us? Hey now, why do you think I came all the way back here? Not only is Walter on the prowl, but you are still searching for Joshua, yes? You can bet I'll help you in any way that I can. Aw, thanks Zin. To be honest, I'll be glad to have you with us. Your wolf friend nearly beat us into raw meat. If you'd be willing, I'd like to train with you to fight him. <laughs> That's a bit humble for you, Agate. You usually possess more confidence in your own abilities, but very well. Hey, I ain't so thick that I don't see how good you are. Um, Estelle? Agate? Can I... come too? Huh? What? Well, um, the society might use more weird devices or more gospels. I, um, I think I might be able to help if they do. Please, take me with you. But, but... Gramps, what do you think? Well, I have to say that the grandfather in me is filled with terror at the mere idea. But as you can see, my little Titer is quite stubborn, and I want to make her dreams possible whenever I can. Go ahead, Titer. I won't stop you. Grandpa... The Ouroboros clearly have a greater technological edge than we could have ever imagined. In that sense, Taita is absolutely correct. She could be a great help to you. I'd say you're getting quite a deal. You're not selling a new product here, Professor. Well, uh, I'll admit having Taita along really would help, but... But if someone like that man attacks us again, I... No, it's okay. We'll keep your granddaughter safe, no matter what. A, a gate? Oh? What the- what's gotten into you? I figured you'd be the one who'd yell loudest about this. Between that clown and what we learned from that psycho, I think it's safe to say the society gives not one dang about the safety of civilians. That means there's no guarantee that Zeiss is any more safe than anywhere, really. So given that, what the heck, eh? Might as well keep her where we can keep an eye on her. A, a gate? Yes. Distressing as it may be, that's true. <laughs> More to the point, you simply want her to be some place where you can easily protect her. How a rough raven wishes to be a white knight. How chivalrous. How manly. What? Ooh, given that look, I think Olivia is right on the mark. Uh, um, is that true? Don't listen to anything that idiot says. Look, you better be able to pull your own weight. Got it? Don't get so lost in messing with machines, you do something stupid. <laughs> I'll be careful. <laughs> well, good to see that's settled. <laughs> it's good to see our group getting so lively. Taita, do take care. I'll take care of unraveling the mystery of this gospel business while you're gone. Don't worry. Okay, good luck, Grandpa. Don't worry too much about Professor Russell, everyone. I'll keep both eyes on him and make sure he doesn't cause any catastrophes. I'm counting on you, Mr. Murdoch. Oh, don't you have a church or something to run off to, Murdoch? <laughs> I will contact Elnan at the Gransel Guild House. May the blessings of she who dwells above be with you. Take care in your journey. And that is the end of Chapter 2, The Raging Lands. So thanks for watching everybody, I hope you've enjoyed the finale of that chapter. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when the next episode is coming out. Feel free to leave a comment on the video if there's anything you'd like to talk about. And head on over to my Twitter so you can stay up to date with any news for the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.